If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the content reveal for this morning, as well as some make right news and a few other things that I do want to go over this fine Thursday morning. Now, guys, first things first, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, if you need any coins for anything, head over to Mutt Reserve down below and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. Today's Poodle Squad shout out goes to Isaac Cervantes. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you for showing support each and every day. Now, yeah, guys, if you're new to the channel, want to be shout out on the Poodle Squad or been here, all you gotta do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn on that noti bell. You guys know the deal. So, first things first, guys. Um, getting some XP on the screen here. I'm not really sure what I'm getting XP for here. But. Let's head on over. So yesterday, as far as make rights go, there was a few things that they go down. First, there was the original make right, which was that people got up to like 20,000 MUP points for when they were locked out for that whole duplicate glitch, which is good for them. But that is not the one that we're talking about here. So apparently yesterday on the Marketplace store, there was the card art by the Super Sun VP pack for Terry McLaurin. So Terry McLaurin, as you guys do know, is not out in game yet. Scary Terry will be dropping, I believe, Friday, which is tomorrow. So, they had them in the store, which means that some people may have opened packs. Now, this is very important for a few reasons. The reason this is important is specifically, not everyone follows YouTube, not everyone follows Twitter, not everyone knows the month schedule. There is a large portion of the community who genuinely gets home from school or work or logs on daily in between their break. So, going to Madden, they only, this is the only way they know how to check content. They check the missions tabs. They check for new solos, random, like, oh, they just log on. Okay, any new solos? No, nothing. Ooh, you know, right here, flashback. Okay, right there. Oh, Scary Terry's in packs. You know, I'm a Washington football team fan, or I love Scary Terry. I, I, I've been wanting that card. All right, I'm going to pull some packs. So they hop on, they open up a bundle real quick, and they open it like, I didn't get Scary Terry. They don't really notice it, though. But there are some people who do follow YouTube and stuff, and we're like, huh, I know that's supposed to come out Friday, but I guess it came out early. So they open packs, too, but then they're like, wait a second. They follow YouTube. It's not out yet. They would know. And then people post about it, right? So. It did seem like Kralo hinted at a make rights for those people yesterday. Now, you don't have to have pulled for Scary Terry necessarily to have been get, been gift granted make rights. I'm pretty sure if you open packs during the time period of, like, let's say the card art was live from 11.30 to 12.15, right? That's 45 minutes. If you opened up any packs between that period, you more than likely will have gotten make rights. Specifically because they can't prove that you didn't open up Game Changer packs for Scary Terry because they're packs, right? Now, could it just be limited to Super Saiyan VP packs? It's possible, but I doubt it. If you open up any packs between that time period of the Scary Terry thing, you more than likely will get some packs. They did hint at it. Again, they could make a, conf uh, a concern, you know, they, they could make an excuse for it, but it seemed pretty likely that Crayola was hinting at that being the outcome from the entirety of the Make Right situation with Scary Terry. Now, again, these cards will be dropping tomorrow, so definitely stay tuned for these cards tomorrow. I will be showing you guys the stats in just a second. We did get an early reveal of all the cards, including their abilities, which is exciting because we didn't know their abilities yet. Now, remember, the one thing about these Super Saiyan VP cards, especially the 89 overall cards, three abilities. So, that means that if you don't like their abilities, A, you may want to power them up, and B, they're also going to be a lot of AP. So, if you run Saquon, you may be going through like 7 or 8 AP off the rip, or 5 to 8 AP. So, if you don't, the, the only way to counteract that would be to actually power them up and get rid of them and put on what you want. So, remember, that is kind of the things you can be doing. But let's head over to the screenshots and show you guys the new cards. First, we got your Bill Peppers, your Brill. My guy in the Giants, strong safety, kind of like a little hybrid linebacker looking guy over there. He's pretty good at what he does. Now, he has second wind as his ability, which is kind of horrible. I mean, I'm pretty sure second wins when you make a juke, you, you regain stamina. Or after a pick, you have stamina until you juke. Or I think it's after you juke. I don't remember, but I know second wind isn't good. And he has zone hawk. I mean, the card's decent. 86 speed, 88 excel is not that great. Uh, honestly, this card's not good at all. 81 hit power. He's going to be like a good budgety safety. Good for a Giants theme team. Perhaps a Cleveland Browns team team, but I do not think this card overall is going to be all that great. It's, I mean, it's not the fastest card. It's only an 86 speed, which is fast, but it's not going to be like, oh yeah, this is a budget piece because there's going to be faster budget safeties, right? Like Darnell Savage, like um, Nasir Adderley. But overall, the card is decent. Next, we have Frank Clark right in for the Chiefs. Similar situation. I believe he has Ripper as his uh, ability. It's decent. He has Fearmonger, I think. And then he has 83 power move, 82 strength, 85 excel. 78 speed, 85 excel is moderate, decent athleticism right now. That's not bad. But then he only has 83 power move, which means no thresholds. He has no good block shed, no good finesse move, not the highest strength either. So it's not like he has anything going for him, really. He's going to be a subpar. He's just going to be that guy in the line that's good overall, has some abilities, but can't really do too much. 
he's not going to be aggressively pass rushing he won't be really stopping any runs kind of going to be letting up runs like a nosebleed right there he's gonna be decent but he's not gonna be anything good that you really want next you have Darrell williams he's actually decent he has all low low mid 80s pretty much low 80s uh pass block but he does i believe have edge protector or something like that or maybe secure protector he does have a protector ability so he might he might be a really good just nice tackle for a cheap price to fill in with abilities you can maybe get from the solos as well honestly if you don't have a right tackle right now just slot him in if he has a good ability he might be worth it even with the low pass and run you're not getting many linemen in the game with above 90s anyways so as long as you have the 80 thresholds with abilities he may actually be pretty usable next we have jk dobbins his abilities are uh, bad it's homer which i'm pretty sure just means he gets his uh his x factor quicker at home it's horrible uh this is the cards ability is horrible he does get freight train though uh 86 speed 85 excel not not the fastest but it's not it's not horrible it's one silly uh speed slower than saquon for raven steam team though he will be pretty decent for the time being although i don't think this card's all that great it's a low overall though so it's kind of expected good catching though 84 catching on a jk dobbins card that's kind of wild at this point in the game good catching i mean very well-rounded card i'll give him that next we have dante jackson he gets short route ko and i think a medium route ko on the panthers he does have a bottleneck as his ability he gets 90 speed 89 excel with a power up so that means he will get 91 speed at cornerback he may be a super solid nickelback dimeback or even a punt returner kick returner or even a budget corner right because that you can get him again from the packs from the solos he's gonna have an 80 man coverage with a high 70 zone so he, he'll be a pretty decent man guy i mean he'll be a pretty decent man with that speed i don't think he's gonna be he's not gonna be meta by any means you know with that with the coverage but with the way the game plays are now speed maybe just may matter more at this point with how bad coverage is Next, we have Tremaine Edmonds. He has no outsiders, Stonewall, and oh, I forget what that other one is. Uh, Run Stopper, maybe. But yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, uh, Stonewall is decent, and out, no outsiders, of course, is a good one. Although he's a middle linebacker, so I really don't know how good that's going to be on him. I don't really see where that helps him. Unless you put him off the edge, which just makes no sense. 84 speed, 83 excel. Not the craziest, but he is like 6'4, 6'3, 6'5. I know he's really tall. So that alone will keep him in contention with height, at least. Tackle about. He's a very well rounded 81 block shed. He's not bad uh you can power him up so 85 speed isn't horrible i mean there's not that many fast linebackers right now so that's not the end of the world next you have matty ice again horrible all low 80 passing 70 throw under pressure 79 throw under run like in the 70s no speed bad throw power it's like a less accurate version of tom brady the abilities aren't bad though i believe he has like um i believe he has pocket dead eye and maybe lofting it's, it's a deep one i don't remember what it is but it's not good andy jenovich he does get a protect. Okay, so his abilities aren't bad. And he does get 86 lead block and 77 speed. He's not bad. He's going to be a great budgety, like a great fullback to block for you for at a good price. I don't mind this Andy Janovich card. Uh, Eddie Jackson, 85 speed, 86 excel, 86 zone. Powered up and counted up 86 speed with 87 zone. 80 hit power. Going to be a well rounded safety. If you get him as a hero like Nat or something, or whatever reason you get stuck with him, or you like him or you're a Bears fan, he's not, he's not, he's not bad. He's, he's okay. Decent safety. Elkton Jenkins, again. Get some pretty decent abilities. Going to get a pretty good run and pass block. I'm going to be a very well rounded left guard. If you get him for whatever reason, he's not horrible. David Andrews, similar situation. Not the best abilities. Decent, but he's going to be super well rounded. Again, you can pretty much make a pretty good interior and exterior line based on the superstar VP drops. Darius Leonard, going to get out of my way and reach elite. That's, de that's actually not bad, but he's way too slow. 81 speed, way too slow. The only way you could really use him is if you have him sitting on the edge as like an edge linebacker, but he can't pass rush and he can't block shed. So his card's horrible. Terry McLaurin, Scary Terry, he will get comeback and uh, matchup nightmare. I believe double me. The card's not bad. 88 speed, so he will get 89 speed of wide receiver, but he has low 80 route running, pretty much low 80 catching for the most part, and high 70 catch of traffic. This card's really not all that good, in my opinion. I don't think it's personally a card that I'll be chasing after. He's only a hero, though, so it makes sense. Now we got the best running back in the NFL and in the game, of course, right there with the best quarterback, Danny Dimes. He's going to be great. Now, here's the thing. His abilities are spin cycle. Uh, recuperation and backfield master now backfield master is actually good spin cycle is not bad because spin's actually pretty good this year but that's gonna be a lot of ap gift wrapped plus all that it's going to cost pro I ha i'd have to imagine like i don't know the exact right now but if five to eight ap you're gonna pretty much kill your entire offense on saquon if if you'd like you could always put this uh the strategy card in him get him the plus one speed to 89 or you could power him up and get him to 89 anyways with 90 agility 89 change of direction 88 break tackle get everything up a little bit and then put your own abilities on him i don't really think i think maybe put freight turn on him and maybe backfield master Maybe freight train, maybe a power ability, depending on what he gets. I'd have to go check out exactly what his card at 90 overall will get. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. I think I probably will power him up. I kind of want to keep him for a while. 89 speed, super fast. I really like him. And then, of course, guys, we have Tyron Smith. We've known about this one for a while as well. He's pretty good. 
not bad De decent abilities he's gonna get three of them of course which is which is a dub uh he gets really high pass blocking pretty high run blocking gonna be super well rounded will not get any 90 thresholds though which kind of sucks but still really good we'll get the 90 strength and then we have vita Vey, defensive tackle for the buccaneers he will get i believe that's goal line stuff or something like that and then he will get um secure secure tackler and uh sure specialist he's not bad good block shed really high strength 90 strength He's going to kind of be like Aaron Donald if he was slower defensive tackle. Going to have the strength, going to have the blocks and the power move. He's not bad at all. That's about it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. If you want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, shout out. Like the video. Comment down below, Poodle Squad. Turn on that notification bell, boys. And, of course, if you need coins, head over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle at checkout. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.